Me, smoking and grilling with AB, making carne asada tacos? Of course I am. Let's get it. Okay, folks, so look, these are the ingredients. And then for those of you guys that have been following me for a minute, you know I like to use that fresh garlic, but this right here still does the same thing, but I gotta go ahead and use that up, right? So when you say carne asada, you know, tacos, you gotta have a marinade, right? Now, this right here is my skirt steak. I want you guys to pay attention to it. Look at how it is. You buy this at your local grocery store, or you can tell your butcher to go ahead and cut it down and get it so that it look just like this. Everything that you see right here, look, it just takes a little bit of pre-planning, but the best thing about this is, it's really a dump and go. So I just pour all of my liquids in now. And then as always, the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below. Now you wanna get yourself a whisk. Just get everything incorporated. And you can look at the color. You see that right there? And that right there, folks, is what's gonna do it. Now, the next thing you do is you just wanna grab your skirt steak, right? I kinda like fold it, you know what I mean? Cause I'm using a Ziploc bag. You guys can put it in a, I guess a uh, Tupperware, anything like that, right? So I grab it, take it, I fold it, and just make one more fold. Trust me, when you put liquid inside of something, it's gonna find a way. It's just like air. If there's an opening, you're gonna find it. Now, you wanna take your marinade, you just wanna go ahead and just run it right over the top like that. All right, and then when I take it out, you guys probably just seen me do this, you know, with the chicken, right? I kind of like just take a little bit of the air out, just a little bit, and then you want to close it. I suggest you guys take your time with closing Ziploc bags, because sometimes we have closing, and if you do, you know the rest. You might as well get your mop. All right, so now that we got it closed, Look, don't worry. Now I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and I'm gonna let this marinate overnight. Tomorrow when you guys see me, we're gonna go ahead and put that on the grill. And listen, we're gonna grill these over some hot coals right over the top. This is gonna be finished quick, folks. And again, we grilling, so we gonna cook right over this heat. So you wanna have that direct heat, right? So now, I'm gonna go ahead, and I don't know, maybe this don't work out, but I'm gonna try to grab this, you know what I mean, with this, you know, with my tongs. Now look, I try to like let some of this, you know, drip, right? And then what you wanna do is you just wanna lay this right here over the top. Right, and we gonna stay with it. You know what I mean? Cause we gonna have that heat and let that work. Now I'm gonna make two of them, you know, I'm gonna do both of them, but they're gonna be done separately. I got the heat here, it's right over the top. I got heat back this way. And if anything was going wrong, I have a spin grate. I can turn and get it off of there. But right now I want everything over here on this side. All right, folks, so you wanna see how it's looking? Look at that right there. Now we developing a little bit of color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna bring this in over here like this, right? Then I kinda like just bring it in together. This is really almost ready. It don't take long. That's what I like about grilling. After looking at that, you get a little color, just a little bit of char. Oh yeah, this right here is nice. I'm gonna go, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take this off, shake it, put this on my board because I want this to rest a little bit. But look at that right there. If that ain't no healthy, good grilled piece of meat, I don't know what is. Now I'm gonna flip this one, put just a little bit more char on it. You know what I mean? Uh, this one I have just a little bit more flavor to it, you know? So I'll bring this over here. Now look, this is the thin side. This being the thicker side, so the thin, I kind of like put it over here on the edge, right? And then what I do is I bring this a little bit more, you know, closer to the heat and just keep it like this. And then if I feel like it's gonna dry out, I can always fold it. But I do want to get a little bit of char underneath the bottom of it. 
Now, meanwhile, while I'm waiting, you know, waiting for this one to be ready, the other one is resting. You guys got to wait till you see this right here. I'm going to cut these down and make some beautiful carne asada tacos. I'm just going to go ahead and throw some of these down, and I'm going to do them the way I get them. And when they become authentic, most people, they double them up, right? So just go ahead and, you know, flip them. Okay, folks. Now, if you guys come in here and take a look, you can see that. I want you to pay attention. Look, you can see that when you have this kind of steak, look, it's grainy, right? So the grain is going this way. I'm going to cut along with the grain. You know what I mean? You, know, you just want to have like a sharp knife. You know what I mean? It's up to you how big you want your cubes to be. Sometimes we take these and we just go ahead and lay these inside the taco, right? But I'm going to cut these down just like you see. Then I'm going to go ahead and, you know, cut some cubes. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and show it. Now you got to do your meat how you want to do it. You see how I did my meat? This is the way I like to do it. Hey, and especially if you do them like this way, when it comes time to go ahead and reheat everything, you know where to kind of like cook it anyway. So let me go ahead and get this cut down. Then I'll show you how I just cube them. And then we finna make these tacos. You seen it? Now look, you can make your meat how you want to. You guys can do them well done. I make the meat the way I like to make it. So look, we gonna go ahead and just build these up, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and get myself two tortillas. This is the way you wanna do it. Cause listen, I'm finna stuff this and this is probably gonna break. So I'm gonna go ahead and get me a little meat. You know what I mean? Ah, oh, yeah. And I gotta make sure I don't stuff it so much. Then I'm gonna come with a little cilantro, right? I said a little bit. You know what I mean? I like the red onion. You guys can use the, you know, the white, right? And then for my little topping over here, I'm gonna go with some of this guac on top. You know what I mean? And you know what? I'm gonna give me a little bit of this pico too. And then you can't say it's authentic, right? Without hitting it with a little bit of this lime. Ooh, wee folks. Check it out. You see that right there? Cheers. Mm. And for those of y'all that know how to eat it the right way, get yourself one of these radishes. Whew. The texture and the taste, along with this combination right here, that's fire, folks. Ta-da! Hey, these are fire. I want you guys to talk to me down in the comment section below and let me know, do I have anything missing or would you add something else to it? You know what I mean? Uh, I think this right here, this combination is like just fire. This is what I get even when I'm out on the street. You know what I mean? Uh, carne asada tacos done the right way. And the key is just cooking them over the grill. You know what I mean? Cooking them over your coals and having everything just, you know, like marinate, that marinade that was with it too. That right there is like monumental. I probably should have said that because you guys noticed that I didn't have the season. Just that overnight marinade, that did a lot for it. Brought that flavor in there, you know, deep inside the meat. And again, you guys can cook it how you want to. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there. Listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And if you want to know why I laugh right now, because I got a lot more tortillas to make, and you know everybody want to get some. So guess what, folks? I'm out. Peace.